Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. This is part two of a two-part investigation on the mole. The mole is the standard unit to measure amounts of things. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. We can have a mole of any substance. This is a mole of water, and this is a mole of sugar. Both of these samples contain the same amount of molecules, but why do they look like different amounts? In this video, we will investigate why substances have different molar masses. So what are we gonna learn in this video? First, we will learn what atomic mass is and where to find it on the periodic table. Then we'll see how isotopes of different elements have different masses. Finally, we'll see how atomic mass compares to molar mass. Let's start by taking a look at the periodic table. Each element square on the periodic table includes a few different pieces of data. The letter in the middle is the atom symbol, and the number on top is called the atomic number. This number tells us the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Protons are positively charged particles that partially make up an atom. The nucleus is at the center of the atom. This is where we find the protons, but we also find the neutrons. Neutrons are another subatomic particle that have the same mass as a proton, but they don't have any charge, they're neutral. The final subatomic particle is found outside the nucleus, it's called the electron. The electron has a negative charge and is so tiny compared to the proton and neutron that it essentially has no mass at all. Either way, subatomic particles have very, very small mass. So small that it's kind of inconvenient to use normal mass units like grams or kilograms. Instead, chemists derived a new unit called the Atomic Mass Unit, AMU, and it makes understanding the mass of atoms much easier. In AMU, a proton has a mass of 1, the neutron has a mass of 1, and remember I said that the electron is so small compared to the proton and neutron? Well, it's so small that it has a mass of 0 AMU. So, the mass of an atom, or in other words, its mass number, comes down to the number of protons and neutrons since they both have a mass of 1 AMU. A carbon atom has 6 protons and 6 neutrons and 6 electrons. What's its mass number? Well, we can forget about the electrons because they don't have any mass. And remember that a proton and neutron have the same mass. They each have a mass of 1. So we can just add up the protons and the neutrons. 6 protons plus 6 neutrons would give a mass of 12 AMU. So a carbon atom has a mass number of 12 AMU. Let's look back at the periodic table. There's another number down here. What is that? It kind of looks like the mass number, the thing that we just calculated, but it's got a bunch of decimal places. Well, this is called the atomic mass, and it's based on the mass number of carbon now a carbon atom can't have a mass number with decimal places because you can't have part of a proton or a neutron. This atomic mass has these decimal places because it's an average mass. It's the average mass of all the different kinds of carbon atoms. How can carbon atoms have different masses? Well, the number of things in the nucleus would have to change. Since only protons and neutrons have mass, you would have to change the number of those particles. So if you added an extra neutron, so that carbon has seven neutrons instead of six neutrons, the carbon would have a new mass number. Six protons plus seven neutrons gives a mass number of 13. It's called carbon-13, and it's different from carbon-12. Carbon-13 is an isotope of carbon. An isotope is an element that has a different number of neutrons in its nucleus. Now, we can't change the mass of an atom by changing the number of protons. But why not? They have a mass of 1 AMU. Well, remember that first number we learned? The atomic number? That's the number on top here. It doesn't have any decimal places. In other words, it's an exact number. Carbon has to have an atomic number of 6, or it's not carbon. And the atomic number is the exact number of protons. If you added another proton to carbon, it would have 7 instead of 6. It wouldn't be carbon. It would be nitrogen, because nitrogen has 7 protons. So isotopes are elements that have different number of neutrons, and as a result, they have a different mass. Okay, finally, let's talk about molar mass. Molar mass is the mass of an entire mole of atoms for a given element. But don't worry, no math is required to get the molar mass of an element. 
AMU is standardized to the mole. So you don't even really have to think. The number here is the molar mass. That is the mass in grams of one mole of that element. It's pretty cool. It's like it means two things at the same time. It's the average mass of one single atom in AMU, or it's the mass of a whole mole of atoms in grams. All right, let's see if you've got it. Take a look at sulfur on the periodic table. How many protons does sulfur have? And what's the molar mass of sulfur? So in this video, we learned the atomic mass is the average mass of a single atom expressed in AMU. The molar mass is the mass of an entire mole of atoms expressed in grams. Isotopes are atoms that have different mass because they have different numbers of neutrons. Thanks for watching. 